Welcome back to Carbonize This. Today we're going to find out what happens when you carbonize a turtle shell. So we've got several different items we're going to carbonize today. First up is this turtle shell. So we found this on the back part of our property. You can see that it's, you know, that bony structure and then the outside uh, material has actually started to flake off. And we have not done a turtle shell before, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Next up, we have a little sprig of Eastern red cedar. And we've done cedar wood, but we haven't done any of the uh, branches yet. So we'll see uh, if this detail really stands out once it's carbonized. Next up, we have a little holly branch. We've got uh, holly all over our property as well. Then we have this pine cone. It's a good looking pine cone. So it'll be cool to see that carbonized and see if we get that detail to just stay in place. And then lastly, we have this little sprig. I think this is wild cherry that we have. It's a wild black cherry. So that's native to our area, and it's the only thing that's blooming right now. We're going to find out here in a minute what it does in a carbonizer. So we're going to load it in the bottom of the retort. So to save on wood, we've actually got two different experiments in the retort right now. The kitchen waste video, and then also the turtle shell and with the other natural items. So we're going to put the lid on and the ring. and then load the retort in the barrel. Okay, so it's time to put the chimney on and then we'll let it run for several hours. It'll cool down overnight and we'll check it out in the morning. We let it cool down overnight. Now it's time to check it out. Wow, that is, the holly turned out really cool. So this is the sprig of flowers. We believe it was black cherry, but let us know in the comments what you think it is. This will be real fragile and easy to break. So here's the pine cone. It's not just black, but it's got silver accents and highlights. It looks so cool. I wish we could find a way to preserve it instead of crush it. Though it's a beautiful piece of art, it's time to crush it. So there's the center of the pine cone. It stayed intact. It's a little bit harder to break. So we've got some purples and blues here from the holly. And so I did a little research once I saw that, and it looks like it's from the potassium that is naturally occurring in holly. Holly has magnesium, potassium, and phosphorus, and it's likely the potassium that caused that purple. And we've seen this before when we did the birdhouse gourds. So here's the holly. So now we're going to break it up into biochar. Normally, holly would have uh, poked my hand, but it's, it's so fragile it doesn't hurt at all. And listen, listen to the metal sound. So this is the little sprig of cedar. It basically just dried out, stayed kind of a flat black color. We'll break it into biochar pieces. It just crumbled into dust. So now the part we've all been waiting for, and that's the turtle shell. So a turtle shell is made up of a bony structure, and then it has keratin coating on the outside that gives it that, that colorful appearance that we saw earlier. And so what's happened to the keratin is it actually looks like it has melted and dripped off the edge and then pooled on the bottom of the tray. We'll poke a little bit at this puddle of uh, carbonized keratin. It's just shiny and flaky, kind of like how it was before it carbonized. So now we'll look at the, oh, the shell is very fragile. I was trying to keep it in place. It's, it's not going to stay together. So it is very fragile, just like the other bony structures that we've done. There's a little bit of that keratin that had melted on the shell. And as you can tell, very fragile. Here's the underside. 
and no turtles were harmed in the making of this video. You'll remember we found this turtle shell down by our creek. Oh, and here's on the inside, you can see a little bit of that ridge for the backbone. If it had maintained its shape, I would have saved it, but it's just crumbling. So we're going to go ahead and break it up so it'll be even better biochar for us. So those were the items that we found while walking around our farm. Let us know what you'd like to see in the comments below and we'll see if we can carbonize it. We'll see you next time.